Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're gonna do this right. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that your bell is pressed. That way you will get notifications on your devices when we drop a new exclusive. Yes, indeed. Um, you know what? We ain't seen them in like two weeks. It's been, it's been like it's been a long time. And the bad thing about it is the show has gotten so good that they ain't even care. Yeah, yeah, you know. Now, if it was like having to have nice or queen sugar. Have to have nice, some got like that too. Yeah, they, I mean, freaking they better than um, if loving you is wrong. Oh, we dropped that all together. Yeah, everything is wrong about that show now. Let me tell you, I had made it up in my mind, and y'all know that I don't hesitate to drop a show. I made it up in my mind that if Lucius didn't get his um, memory back by this episode. Uh -huh. Who's gone? I was gone. He but could, call, he could but, show up, but not me. But somebody said, or folks said, it was going to be just like Power Round. Episode 5, things were going to make a turn. Now, they ain't stopped making a turn until the end, though. The, end, the last 20 seconds. Yeah, they, that's when the turn came along. Which I can appreciate it because I won't want about to be walking around with Mr. Lucky Charm seeing <laughs> colors in the rainbow and bush get. <laughs> ain't got time All right, for that. We'll get into it. The fool. Whatever. <laughs> So now we got this whole custody thing coming up where Anika's trying to take baby Bella away from Hakeem and the rest of the family. So now we have the lawyer that's um, sitting up there talking to them, basically trying to build a case and trying to find an angle to go at Anika about. Yeah. Um, this dude is hearing all the family dirt and he is more and more convinced that maybe this baby need to be with her realm. Because, wait a minute, she was engaged to your father and you slept with her? Oh, you slept with her twice. Yeah. Okay, and, and, so this one got me. And they got married. It's like, what the fuck is going on in here? So, in the middle of all of that going on, they're trying to find an angle to come at Anika with, with court. Portia calls Cookie and tells Cookie, and say, hey, TMZ got it. Y'all know if anybody can get it. See, and the bad thing about TMZ is you never know when it's real and when it's fake. But TMZ mm -hmm. got some information. Well, TMZ don't got the T that, um... Lulu ain't here. He delayed for real. Delayed Lulu yeah. is in real effect. We gon' they put it all on, on Front Street, which makes the Lions and the rest of the Empire, they gotta respond to this at this point. Now the they, bad part they were saying that he was faking like his memory was gone and he was putting much finesse in the got those shareholders out of their money. So I'm like, okay, here we go with this boo. Yeah, boo. So now you gotta gather up the troops, figure out a way. To finesse these people, make sure that the shareholders don't bail, people don't start pulling their money out, and people don't start suing, basically. Yeah. So they decided what they were gonna do, and I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna be jumping ahead and backwards. Yeah. Do Which, it your way. It's, it's, it's my, my channel. It's my channel can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. As, as the Harsh twins would say. Yeah. Cookie ends up going to Empire. And of course, now we got press, we got everybody there. She thought it was a good idea to say, you know what? If y'all are challenging the fact of whether or not he has his memory or not, why don't y'all follow him around for 48 hours? It was like. And that would lead us up into the album release and all of this. And then you'll be able to see for yourself how Lulu is really um, going, you know, getting down these days. And I said, wait a minute, Cookie, what? You really want them to follow delay Lulu around? <laughs> really? So everybody looking at her like Cookie. This um, a bad idea. This ain't what you want. Because if he coke out now, he said, you know, what was the movie? Uh, but he said, it's bad enough, Junior, that you that you fail in science, but now the whole world will know you fail in science. It's know. bad enough. What was the movie? I know you're talking about. I know it. I can't remember the movie. I would say, it's bad enough that the family know that Lucius ain't got no mind. Now the whole world will <laughs> know he ain't got And no the mind. first thing that came to my mind was, he can't do loud sounds. Yeah. So as soon as he hear a loud sound, he gonna lose it in the studios. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? So now we got the people, the, the power players. You got Thursday, Becky, all of them in one room. And basically they told Becky, said, hey, I'm gonna need you to coach Dwight into how to m maneuver around, around, around the, the studio. studio. She said, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? 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 She said, so we calling him Dwight now? When did this happen? Because, yeah. you know, Becky didn't know any of yeah. this was going down. <laughs> So now not only is she realizing that he ain't got his memory, I got to teach this man that I work for. That no music. Born and is doing it for over 20 years. How to do music? Lucia said, 
well becky you really don't have to teach me music you just kind of have to navigate me and i'll do the rest from here becky's like there's some balls get it that's like me saying i'm gonna freaking navigate denzel washington around the god darn <laughs> studio so he can get his parts right and i ain't never freaking did an acting movie in my life i said i i, I just can't do this right now so then we got claudia now i don't know what happened between claudia and Lulu when they went over there to see the lion. I can only assume that something went down. They really didn't tell us that something went down, but whatever it was, she felt like she had crossed the line when she got back. And I freaking agree. Yeah. So she said, you know what? I need to gather myself. I went too far. You know, basically my feelings in it now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. No, you feel it's been in it since freaking day one. And now you, you played you on it. Yeah, you played on his feelings that his mind won't write. And thought there was an opportunity for you to sweep in there and get all the money. I don't even know if she want money. I just think she want him. It's always about the money. It's always about the money. Yeah. That's why Wu-Tang wrote that song. Cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. It's yo. always about the money. All right, so now we got this plan in let, action. Let me lose my job and see what happened. What you talking about? Yeah. Let me lose my job and see what happened in our household. It's always about the money. Man, I'm not doing this with you, man. I'm not doing it with you. I'm right, though. No, you're not right. But it do pay. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about the money. But it who? So now we got Lulu. We got Lulu in the studio, and he's in the studio with V. And I said, like, oh, come on, Veronica. Yeah, anyway, we ain't seen her in a while. So ain't seen her in a while. A, that's a singing helpful right there, boy. So she in there, oh. and she's singing. Now, everybody got their good eye on Lulu. Like, uh -huh. don't you buck this up, because the yeah. press is here, and everything that you do will be held yep. against you <laughs> in social media. <laughs> so he's sitting there. Beck is looking at him. Cook is looking at him. V is singing. V don't have a clue what's going on. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he starts seeing the colors again. And I yes, said, what well, we not going to do? Hell. I said, next we're going to have Lucia seeing Fruity Pebbles. Next he's going to start, like you said, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms and Rainbows and, <sighs> and all that bullshit. Gushers. We don't know. So he tells V, he said, hold on, V, stop right there. They was like, oh hell, it's happening again. It's happening again. And he said, you know what? I'm going to need you to sing. I'm going to need you to sing like like singing is everything you got. And today is your last day on earth that you're going to ever be yeah, able to do, do it. it. It's going to be I, taken from you if you don't come through. I need you to go ahead and, and sing with everything you got in you. So everybody was looking like. And oh, I was looking like I said, okay, like, is he clicking in or has he been trained to do this? Because you know they've been training him to but sing. But you remember the part he was kind of like clicking in? You know, he was like. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I think he was clicking in at that moment. You can't teach that. Yeah, so then they said, well, let's go ahead and take him over to Shine's um, studio. I said, oh, here, don't I go I said, to this is when it's going to go all don't the way to hell. Don't take him to Shine, because that's where he lost the last time when he was in the studio with well, Shine. them beats. No, no, I'm sorry, with Moonshine. Moonshine. So gets in there. And basically, this was the shadiest moment of delayed Lulu's history right here. This one he was so shady. He listened to what um Lulu, I mean what um Shine had to um play and offer, and he think he getting it in. The, the, but, the beat was tight, but the lyrics suck. And then <laughs> Lulu starts seeing red, and Claudia peeped it. Claudia said, "Hold on, what's going on? Tell me what you tell me what's going on with you." And I'm like, "Can't the press hear this? Can't they?" Yeah, like yeah, they standing right back there. They they got the cameras on you. You see that? But he said, I, I see crimson. I see red. I see, see anger. Anger. Hate. hate. He said, M Shine, stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you need to work on that some more. What did he tell he him? Said, he said, that's too much anger without purpose. <laughs> and walked out his face. And I said, oh, Ness, and then you don't piss um, Shine off. He was right. I mean, I don't he know what the right. hell he was talking about. All I heard was, ah, 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 ah. I say, what the? Well, that's what we listening to Wu Tang. We don't know what the hell them jokers were saying. But well, listen, we know they're talking about that's something. Right, correct. <laughs> you know what the hell they were saying? Bust around. Yeah, that Wu -Tang. bust around. No, Wu Tang, yeah, Cash was everything. 
Never mind, don't worry about it. I'm yeah, sleepy you, as hell. Yeah, you gone. You <laughs> yeah, you tell me I'm sleepy as hell. Did y'all vote yesterday? Hope y'all did. If it was in your area. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, don't worry about be, it. Yeah, it should be across the... Yeah, I guess. Um, the we got Andre. Andre been laying the pipe in the detective, y'all. We like, yes. we didn't see that coming. See, he finally got it up. Yeah, they mm -hmm. must have switched his medicine. I forgot all about that. <laughs> well, he's trying to finesse information about the, um out of the detective about what's going on about y'all snooping around into my daddy's business, trying to figure out who tried to blow him up. What do you know? She won't try to give up no goods, but then all of a sudden she had a change of heart, and she's trying to tell him that basically Shine dropped the ball on you and said, yeah. hey, maybe you got something to do with it. Andre said, you know what? On that note, you ain't getting no more of this. I got to go and figure this thing I gotta out. I got to go back to work. He him shine up. He was like, shine. So this is what we going to do now? You talking to police, detectives, and all that? Shine said, I ain't talk to nobody. So what you're not going to do is hit me up. And I said, okay, well, who lying? Yeah, who lying? Yeah, somebody got to be lying. But I, I still know that the cops do that bullshit. Oh, yeah, try to turn, they'll, they'll, they'll turn you against the person. Yeah, so they'll tell you that, hey, such and such rolled over on you and told us this, 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 and this. What you got to tell us. And you don't know. Well, Andre told Sean, said, listen, I don't care what you got to say and what you got to do no more. I don't even care about you telling your fam my family yeah. that me and you tried to blow, blow them up. Uh -huh. Cause this right here is too goddamn much. <laughs> so tell them what you will. I'll deal with my family accordingly, but I ain't going to allow you to be the one that caused this great divide going. But she knew forward. he wasn't going to tell it because he got 25% stake in the company now, so he won't about to say Yeah, you mess up his coin, you mess your coin yes, up. Yes, and he ain't saying nothing. So, what the hell else happened? So, after Lulu had left out the studio with Shine, he got a little triggered, mm -hmm. and he had a moment. Yep. Now, to me, Cookie and Claudia brought more attention to the moment then Lucius did. Yeah, because he was like, I got somebody I, just, I need to go, need to go said, get. I just need to go see somebody, an a OG. I need an OG that I need to come on in here and help work this music out. Well, when he returned, he returned with Eddie. I said, hot dog. Got dog. Eddie, lemon soup, got dog, barker. You know what? I don't even <laughs> like yellow, but that joker look good on him. Man, he was wearing that yellow shoe, boy. I said, go ahead, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. He said, Say that. Look, the eyes growing on all of us. Look. <laughs> it was hiding behind them glasses. That's why. That, oh, yeah. They know how to do it. I said, go ahead, Forrest Whitaker. So Forrest came in there. Well, I like his movie, Eddie. though, man. I love him. Especially Panic Room. It wasn't the most positive uh, movie. Man. But he played that part of Panic Room. He sold you. Yeah, he sold me, yeah. Like can, can you said, get me one of them Panic Rooms? Yeah, we need one for Dump. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't even, yeah, don't even matter. It do matter, but... uh. Yeah. Yeah. So when Eddie shows up, everybody is excited as hell. They was like, hold on, it was wait like, a minute. It's like, is this the Eddie Barker? And that's how Eddie must have been a man. Yeah. So now, since Lulu can't really direct people, he can't, you know, really, he, he not connected. I got somebody that's going to be my CNI dog right now. Yeah. So that's where Eddie's going to be. So Eddie shows up in different studios. And he's directing and he's telling, you know, he's reassuring Lucius. He's making sure that Lucius is good. Making sure that the artist was good. And he ended up dealing with Tiana. Now, Tiana, she's ecstatic. She was like, you know what? I ain't never had no blessing like this. Yeah, the Lord came through today, boy. But the only problem is with Hakeem, man. Because they want her and Hakeem to do something together. Well, Hakeem, he thinks it's a good idea to flee the country. Yeah. With baby Bella. Why do we always think they will solve our problems? Black as we are. But most of the time, you know, we ain't got enough money to go to Quebec. But Where? We yeah, were going to Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. Yeah, yeah, Cuba. No, most of the time, what we want to do if we live in D.C., we want to go and move to <laughs> New, New York. York. <laughs> Get our life everybody, together. And everybody in New York want to move down here. They want to move here. Or if, you, or if you live in Richmond, shoot, I'm going to move to Atlanta. Get my life together. <laughs> so if you don't want you, to fight a criminal, go to you, New York, Virginia, and yeah. Atlanta. I, I was listening to this thing, uh, I think what last week they said, we want to do all this stuff to make changes to ourselves and get away from people and get away from stuff, but we forget that when we show up there, we bought ourselves. Because mm, we the you. problem right here. Yeah, so. I'll give you that one for free. <laughs> you the problem. So Hakeem wants to flee, but before all of this, the real reason that this was the nail in the coffin 
he decided to roll up on Councilman Tay Diggs where he actually was trying to get to the the, the head mother. Mm -hmm. He was trying to have a conversation with her, but got got um blocked by Councilman Tay Diggs. Councilman Tay Diggs was running off at the mouth, and Hakeem punched him. Punched him right in it. And he knew he had messed up because Councilman Tay Diggs said, "You know what? Courts don't take real um kindly to." Fathers that got anger issues, they aren't able to um, control, control their anger. I said, um, like, nah, you need to be punching your mouth. I said, all right, you, Tyrese. You've so, been doing a whole bunch of booze, kid. So he said, hey, he had a whole bunch of passports. He had some phone numbers. And when him and Bella landed, they were going to be all right. And the only thing that was missing was that he wanted Tiana to come through with him. Tiana came, said, you know what? After I finish this session in the studio, I'll come holler at you. Matter of fact, I'll meet you at the airport and we'll take off together. I said she ain't taking she off ain't, with him. She ain't going to. First thing I said, she going to go tell it. So, I knew she was going to go tell it. And that's eventually what she ended up doing. She you told Cookie. Told and when she ended up going to the airport, Cookie was right behind her. And she said, hold on, boy. We, we don't run. This ain't what we, we lions. do. We lions. We going to fight this thing together. And they actually had a mother and son moment. And of course... I yeah, thought she was going to smack him after that. Me too. <laughs> well, but, Lucius, but it might be coming though. Yeah. Well, Delayed Lucius is now asking Claudia, you know, what is going on? Every time music starts up, I start seeing colors. What is it? And she, what was it? Synesthesia. She said, that's what you have. You have synesthesia. Like whatever that book is. And I said, well, I've heard of auras and stuff like that that come off of people. But he has something called synesthesia. And now he says, he picks up, she just miraculously had cans of paint in the, um, All the place, yeah. <laughs> in the um, conference room. He picks up the paint, talking about some, oh, so now I have my music in my hands. And he just starts taking goddamn paint and all over the, the glass. And, and, and he just going in and doing what he got to do. And I said, okay, where so what are we? Where is, we call this Picasso will skit. Where, where are we going with this? He got halfway through his painting on the wall, or his, his mural, and Cookie shows up. Cookie was like, what the hell is going on yeah, in here? Yeah. Now, Claudia, she's so happy. You know, she's yeah. happy about this she, stuff. She thinks she got it all on lock now, boy. And Cookie said, Lucius, Lucius, Lucius. Claudia said, you know what? He's, he's, he's listening to his music, but the in music is coming from within his head. Cookie said, mm-mm, I know what this is, mm-mm. I know what this is. And it took her all the way back to when she used to try to call his name back in the day. When yeah. he would be writing music and laying tracks and, you know, playing the keyboard or whatever. He can't hear anything outside of what he's making in his head. Yep. So right then and there, she said, ah, my boo is clicking in. Yeah. And I said, well, we hope he click in and he click in the yeah, right that way. That ninja is making music. Well, yeah. They, well, they don't decided that they're going to make his um <clears throat> painting. The cover art for the album and all this, and the shareholders looked at them like, you know what, on this note, y'all scaring me. You know, a couple of the, um, of the um, press people, they, they won't convince that ain't something, nothing wrong with Lucius. What we gonna have to do is, we need to bring somebody in from the outside. Cookie said, so I, I know y'all bees was gonna do that. <laughs> she said, so I beat you to it. I got somebody. Eddie Barker came in. They was, they like, was oh. like, they said, will you be willing to come on board? He said, for this lady right here, yes, I yeah, will. Yeah, for Cookie, some the advisor, the, C, the CEO, heck yeah. And big girl over there, she ready just to open her legs up and just give it to him. Uh -huh. Cookie said, close your mouth. Close, close your mouth, close, close your, mouth. your mouth. I said, okay. Now we starting to get somewhere with this daggone thing. Now we have had, had me hollering. Eddie Barker goes over there to Jamal's studio. Now I will admit, this is the first time in a long time that I've a been able to listen to Jamal and he didn't sound horrible to me. Like, yeah, he, he wasn't really singing from way up here. He sounded all right. But the way he was singing and the song that he was singing was a remix of his father's song. And Eddie was like, no, 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 no. See, yeah, that's all wrong right there, player. What you can't do is take a song and basically remake it. You we can remix it, it and you can do it. But no, you changing the lyrics and all of this. And that song... Typical and, Jamal, like he did with the, with the other song. And he said, your daddy and I wrote this song as a rebuttal and an answer to some, some shade that was being thrown our way and this, that, and the third. 
Jamal ain't want to hear it, but actually Eddie came up with a great idea. I don't mm -hmm. remember what it was. Smooth talker too, Smooth. boy. And Jamal said, you know what? I think you wanted something. That yeah, just, uh, uh, Uncle Bach. Um, that Uncle just, Eddie. That might just work. But did y'all see the part? When Councilman Tay Diggs basically ratted out his cousin about being a snitch mm -hmm. that leaked all of Lucia's information. And Jamal so in love and digmatized that he didn't even he didn't, catch it. He didn't even catch it. Yep. I said, you know what? <laughs> My homeboy tried to check his cousin later on. I said, y'all got too much going on y'all yeah. family. Y'all need to sort out y'all own bulls before y'all try to ruin somebody else's family. Yeah. Because y'all got a lot going on. Exactly. So, um, what else happened? Him and Claudia um, oh, yeah. in that room painting. They were tearing that room up. Paint yeah, every paint, guy. Paint me. everywhere. Paint on him. Paint on her. He still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, paint this right here. Yeah, see them colors. And then all of a sudden, he start clicking in. He start seeing colors. He start seeing blue. He start seeing. Then he, he started said, seeing. He said, I remember you. And then he said, I remember you. And I said, wait a, minute. wait a minute. And then he changed over again. I said, them, them demons coming out. But yeah. let, let's go ahead and get the demons out so we can get get yeah. some kind of Lulu back. So get some deliverance. <laughs> then he started dancing with us. I started spinning all around. I said, what is I said, happening what is here? He said, I remember you. I love you. I love you. I remember you. And they say, I know they got that. I said, oh, uh, hell no. But now, when he started seeing Cookie Face, I was like, no, that's not Cookie. No, that's that's not cookie. Uh, that's, that's and then homegirl. I don't know if he had sex with her or what, but when she woke up, she was basically almost topless mm -hmm. and showing her scars. And I was trying to figure out where them scars come from because it looked like she had been whipped like a guy doing slave. Yeah, what the hell? And Lucia said, "Why are you covering up your scars? They're beautiful. They're beautiful." He ended up telling Claudia, "Listen, I love you." And she said, I love you too. I love the process that we're making, the leaps and bounds that we're making. <laughs> you know, do you mind if I write a book about this? And I said, what? He was like, you so, getting this to what's that? He said, no. when I say you were my muse, I was talking about, about cooking, cookie. not you. I love cooking. I was like, finally, finally, finally. And she was like, Dwight, Dwight, you know, no, 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 no. He she said, I'm not Dwight. I'm, I'm Lucius. <laughs> I remember. I remember. So the cookie walks in and she said, what is going on here? He said, she was just about to leave. Her services are over. I will cut you a check and you need to get out of my house. I so Cookie looked at him like, that sound like that bastard is back. Uh-huh. Uh, Juanita! <laughs> get, get, get her out of here. Yeah, get her skit and get, get her up out of here. Juanita was looking like glad. Uh-huh. <laughs> like she her. was waiting to get it up I've been there. waiting for this guy doing instructions for the day she came to hey. the door. And got her up out of there. Got, yeah. So the next thing we know was, <clears throat> Lucia was trying to tell Cookie, I remember... But she was like, listen, we need to get to this courthouse. Yeah, we ain't got time for, for this book. here. He said, but I want to tell you what I remember. She said, listen, we're we going to have to catch up in the car. He looked around and he said, huh, I'm back. back. I, said, I said, it's about got on time. Yeah, because I know Because I was already more. exit stage left. We was gone. Gone. We was like, we're just going to catch y'all on freaking uh, Queen Sugar. And but then it. the previews of next week, it almost seemed like he's semi-back. But not 100%. 